data privacy standards force all companies to have strict DLP policies in order to avoid leaking of confidential and sensitive information. The Secure Email Gateway has powerful DLP features uh, that you can use in order to meet compliance with these standards and regulations. Let's see how this can be done. For our example, I'm going to use this file. It has credit card numbers, IBAN numbers, IP addresses, and uh, Greek social security numbers. So a reckless employee will try to send, hopefully by mistake, this file that I just show you to an external user. Let's see what the external recipient will have in uh, his uh, mailbox. SCG scanned the uh, word file detected sensitive information like credit card numbers, the IBAN and the social security numbers and removed them. But IP addresses were not removed. Let's see why this happens. First, in message tracking, we'll see what events took place during processing of the message. This is the message that I sent. And we see that it was processed because PII terms were found. I don't mind these reduction failures over here. And we see that this rule triggered and the reduction was successful. Let's see how the rule is configured so this rule will look for terms listed in this list here in the attachment for these media types and once uh, the terms are uh, detected and the threshold is reached then the reduction will take place and uh, just like we saw in an earlier video about the uh, structural sanitization you have different options for successful data reduction and unsuccessful data reduction so in case of successful removal of these terms the message uh, does not contain uh, sensitive information anymore and therefore it can be delivered but I'm also keeping a copy in uh, the data reduction area um, besides an inform I have a message annotation here it is always a good a best practice to inform the recipient of the message on any modifications that took place in the uh, original uh, document and there so the recipient might request for the original document and also I have uh, the answer options for the unsuccessful reduction this means that the message still contains sensitive information so it is best to keep it in a different uh, message area inform the sender the internal sender about this failure 
the administrator and perhaps the uh, security auditor this might not be a bad idea to, for him to uh, have knowledge of this failure and this is how uh, data redaction on uh, uh, word document works now we're going to see a similar example but instead of the word file I'm going to send a PNG image the content is the same so let's see if the email gateway will be able to uh, detect the uh, sensitive information inside the image as well and the external user opens the image only to find that uh, sensitive information was removed from the image as well and this is because the secure email gateway is able to perform OCR uh, and uh, extract text from images and once the text is extracted then it is pretty uh, standard procedure for the secure email gateway to run the lexical expression detection and let's take a look to the rule that does this it's the same rule as before Uh, we just check the scan text extracted for images so this is how OCR detection can help you uh, apply effective DLP policies